nice day for a hike in the woods, right? But if you're going for a hike in the woods, you need to have the essentials. I mean, I've got my jacket already here, bottled water, got a snack, and I'm pretty much good to go. Wait a minute, where's the bear spray? I mean, that stuff's gonna make me more comfortable, but in an emergency, bear spray might save my life. Of course, there it is, on my belt, where it always is. If I need it, it's in my pack. I don't have time to take the pack off, but if I need it, chances are I need it right now. Using bear spray is easy, just like a lot of things I think are easy, like figuring out how to take a picture with my cell phone, using a GPS to figure out where I am, setting my alarm clock to wake me up to my favorite song. But everything takes practice, right? And a little background knowledge can't hurt either. Most bear attacks occur when a bear is surprised at close range. If you're out hiking or biking, you can let a bear know you're in the area by letting out a loud yell every couple of minutes. Yo, bear! Or by talking really loudly with your companions. Of course, if all else fails, you can always sing. That usually gets the bears out of the way, though I can't imagine why. Roxanne, you don't have to put out the red light. Roxanne. You know those bear bells? Not effective. The best tool you have to avoid a surprise bear encounter is the human voice. But even if you've taken all of these precautions, if you're in a situation where a bear is approaching or charging you, you're gonna need to know how to use bear spray. Bear spray is the most effective way of deterring an approaching grizzly or black bear at close range. It's been used many times to prevent bear attacks, and studies have shown that it's more effective at preventing an attack than a gun. Even hunters in bear country should have bear spray accessible to them in case of a close encounter. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're carrying actual bear spray and not pepper spray intended for use on dogs or humans. Bear spray is designed specifically to be effective on, as the name suggests, bears. It may also be effective on other wildlife such as elk, cougars, or coyotes. You're also gonna to wanna to check the expiry on the can. It's usually good for two to three years. Like any tool or safety equipment you own, you're going to need to know how to use bear spray quickly and effectively in a bear encounter. Practice your quick draw without actually spraying. <laughs> yeah, one too many late night westerns. Bear spray isn't used like insect repellent. You don't spray yourself and you don't spray your equipment. It's best to keep it attached to your belt or to a chest harness where it's readily accessible. It's not the best idea to attach it to your bike or to your pack because if you get separated from those, where's the bear spray? Now, in the rare event that you come in close range of a bear, your heart's probably gonna be pounding and adrenaline's gonna be coursing through your veins. Do not run. Take your bear spray out of the holster and remove the safety clip. Now group together with the rest of your party and back away slowly, avoiding eye contact and speaking softly. Most bear encounters usually end here, but if the bear continues to approach you and gets within range, you may need to use your spray. Bear spray is most effective at a short range, about a car length. Some brands can be used at distances of up to nine meters, about 30 feet, depending on the wind and weather. If there's a strong wind blowing in your face, be prepared that some of the spray may blow back towards you. If you spray when the bear is too far away, it probably won't have any effect on the bear and you'll have wasted some of your bear spray. Hold the bear spray with two hands, one on the trigger, the other one on the cylinder. Deploy the spray in two second bursts. Keep your hands steady and aim slightly downward just below the bear's face to prevent the spray from going over its head. Be sure to use only short bursts as a regular sized can of spray has only six to eight seconds of spray duration and you may need to use that spray more than once. When bear spray comes in contact with a bear, the pepper in the spray will cause temporary loss of sight and may make it more difficult for the animal to breathe buying you some time to get out of a dangerous situation. Once the bear is stopped, 
or turn to leave. That's your chance to retreat the way you came, but keep your spray ready in case you need it again. It's important to know how to use bear spray, but it's also important to understand that it's really your last line of defense. Understanding and practicing safe travel when you're in bear country is the best way to avoid a surprise encounter with a bear. Ultimately, they don't wanna have a run-in with you any more than you do with them. And it is their home. We're just visiting. You can help protect these wild animals by avoiding encounters with them. Thank you for watching and safe travels. Roxanne, get up!